having a good time out here at uh, Baja Rubicon. I'm here with uh, Camp Forlo, Camp Dads, Dirt Lifestyle, uh, many others. We've got uh, 17 different rigs. Don't dump the petrol on your head. Right now. Oh, wow. Oh. So, the, yeah. see the square? Yeah. yeah. It marks how how uh, uh, many people there were over here. And Senada marks it a, a lot smaller. Uh, right. Oh, wow. So, in that time, that, that when uh, around 5,000 people were living here. Oh, in the valley. Miners. Yeah, in this valley. Mm -hmm. That was called San Rafael. San Rafael Valley. Yeah. Wow. That's what awesome. are all the crosses for? The, People the trying crosses. to dig up gold, they kill them. Yeah, the crosses are gold districts. Very cool. Meteorites. And this is a handshake. On, uh, 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 this is why I think that it's a, a hand printed on, on the yeah. rock. Because mm -hmm. you, you can yeah, yeah. put your hand. In. Yeah. Or probably the other way around, right? There you yeah. go. I think it's like that. Crazy. It was a lefty. So we just aired down, and now we're gonna start heading down the trail. 
So for the record, you guys are on the first ever Baja Rubicon trip, and you guys will be the first people to ever run this new trail. Forerunner. 
dropped it and rolled it on its side and caused an electrical fire and it burnt in place. And it's been there ever since and some people pull some parts or whatever, but um, you'll see the forerunner when we get up here. Man, you didn't tell me I needed a snorkel. Final words, Justin? Oh, I'll tell you what, this is my one of my, the beginning and the end are the best parts. And it's good to have everybody here and safe and uh, heading home. And I think we can all admit it was an excellent adventure. How many total miles did we do? Oh, I'm not exactly sure. I'd say in the 250 mile range, give or take. It's a, it's a good haul. It's a good yeah. trip. Good four days. Nobody is going home thinking that they <laughs> lacked adventure. Well, we definitely are not going home thinking we didn't get our money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> a few bumps and bruises, but all in all, we're all able to make it on our own power. That's right. So, right now, we, we're all just finishing airing up. Half of us took the quick way. The other half of us went and played around a little more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Of course, it's always time for tacos, right? Always. So this is the aftermath of the trip. We busted up the steering stabilizer, crunched it on a rock, and our rock sliders got a little scratched up, but that's what happens when rock and steel go together. <laughs>